Hello, my name is Franklin Wilson, and this is still your encounters with the Power Seed on your favorite station, the Life Center Network, your gateway to possibilities. Today is Seed 19, and the topic is healthy conflict management. Wow. So there's a way you can manage the conflict, and it's not going to be healthy. So our text is from Genesis chapter 3, verse 12 to 13. And the man said, the woman whom thou givest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. Now this was the conversation between God, Adam, Eve, and the serpent. So you see, now, the background and thoughts on this text is this. Conflict comes with the relational territory. That is, once there's relationship, conflict is bound to come. So as much as we like to downplay it or ignore it, conflict inevitably rears its ugly head in even the best of relationships. So whenever two people or a group of persons begin to relate in a close proximity, there will be conflict. Trust me, there will be conflict. So God has created all of us with incredible individuality that is highly enjoyable at times, fun to be with. But at other times, the differences amongst us can drive us crazy. Ugh! But you see, conflict is normal, so you need to learn how to manage it. Wow. You see, Genesis records the origin of conflict. It shows us how it all started. In the Garden of Eden. So, when Adam and Eve chose to disobey God, hmm, it began a process of deterioration in all things. Everything started breaking down, including relationship. So, several other reasons why you have conflicts are listed in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 26 to 32. So, I would like you to go read that up. Now, allowing your disagreement to build up. Keeping accounts and records of wrongs done to you. These things can stir up conflict. Releasing provoking words at other people. That is insulting people. Calling, you know, are the fuelers of conflict. So if you can relate to this discourse, be rest assured, you are not alone. And God is saying that you are well able to properly manage and resolve conflicts so relax god's going to help us out today now application see god says to not let the sun go down with unresolved con conflicts now you see there is great value in resolving your differences promptly and daily there is great value in it if you have a problem with someone Go and talk to them about it. Go and tell them about it first before including other people, before making it a public complaint or using gossip or backstabbing. Hear me? Because backstabbing will bring about distrust and hostility because the person will reply back, oh. Also remember that you mustn't win every argument because sometimes you must not win every argument. Instead of thinking about winning, think about how you can bring out the best in your counterpart during an argument. Always think about how you can make the person better. Most importantly, you see, learn to forgive. Learn to forgive. Learn to forgive. Forgiveness will set you on the right path to managing any conflict. Receive wisdom today oh, to manage your conflict in the name of Jesus Christ. So make up your mind right now. Pray with me. Say, oh God, thank you for the wisdom and ability to handle my relationships. I receive grace to resolve issues. I receive your help to say the right things, do the right things, and at the right times, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare peace all around me. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. 
Amen. Now, resolve any issue you are having before the end of today. Start putting to work what you've learned. Make up your mind. Forget about how you're feeling. To forget about your, your emotions now telling you that you're going to be stupid if you go and say you're sorry. You're going to look like a fool if you go and say you're sorry. Please, resolve that issue today. Because tomorrow is not promised to you. Make up your mind to forgive and to do the word of God. So until we come your way again, this is still what? Your encounters with the power seat. My name is Franklin Wilson. And I want you to know that Life Center Network is here for you. So keep watching. This station is still your gateway to possibilities. We'll be back again tomorrow morning with another edition of Encounters with the Power Seat. For now, eat. Bye-bye. There are men that rise by labor. There are others that rise by favor. There are men that toil their way to the top. There are others the oil of God takes to the top. I am a man held by God. His oil has lifted me to the top. And today I want to invite you to encounter that God that lifts men. To encounter the God that changes destiny. To encounter a God that answers prayer. To encounter a God that can make you what you want to be. I want to invite you to meet a God that can never fail. And today your life we change for good. Is it Chimo? Oh, yes, I'm a fairy. Is it Chimo? Oh, yeah, baby. Is it Chimo? Is it Chimo? You're the God who never, never, never fails. Is it Chimo? Is it Chimo? You're the God who never fails.